Welcome to this product announcement from Synergy Sky. We are really excited to have you all here and the timing is perfect. Video has become business critical and this launch will definitely help people connect. To do the product announcement, we have our CTO, Egil Hosting, and we have our CEO, Ståle Reitan. Gentlemen, please take it away. Thank you. So, who are Synergy Sky? We are a company that is global. We have customers, partners, and employees around the world. We have about 5 million users that are using our software every day. We were founded in Norway 13 years ago. And we focus on creating synergies across technologies. And why is that important, Abel? Well, uh, creating synergies across technologies is important because uh, we want to be independent. And why do we want to be independent? Is that because we want to be able to set our own roadmap uh, to our customers' need and not to whatever vendor we're following. We can uh, mix and match. We can create uh, the solutions that is actually best for the customer and not necessarily uh, the only solution that works. So it's making simplicity and also gives freedom to both the customer and us. Very good. And what do we offer? Well, we focus on integrating with a lot of different products and vendors. So to start off with, we integrate with your calendar, either in Office 365 or in Microsoft Exchange on-premises or Google Calendar G Suite. We integrate with IoT sensors that could be IoT sensors inside your video system or in smaller battery driven sensors like this one that you could stick into rooms where you don't have video. And then we look at user behavior, typically uh, looking at a meeting room booking where you book a room for two hours. We can see that you enter the room five minutes late and then you join the video call 10 minutes late and then you leave the room after one hour when there is one more hour left of your booking. So based upon that, we can look at the behavior of how rooms are being utilized. And then we integrate with video systems in, um, in a different way than looking at them at, as IoT sensors, but we look at them as video systems, meaning we facilitate easy join experiences, we gather call detail records, and people count information. And then we integrate with virtual meeting platforms, uh, the major ones, uh, in order to facilitate easy join services, conference control, and meeting analytics. Then we look at the meeting itself as a life cycle. And the life cycle is typically you plan the meeting, then you meet, and then you look at how to improve the meeting for the next type of meeting. So, yes, absolutely. This, the Synergy Sky Suite today, we are consist of today four components, which each of them tries to solve uh, different tasks. We have the join, which is your meeting planner and helps you out uh, sorting out the invitations. Control, which allows you to uh, do meeting monitoring. Analyze, which allows you to analyze the meetings that have been going on and understanding uh, patterns and improving. And then we also have the sensors, which helps you automate the whole process and also gather additional insight into what's going on. And then we have a fifth problem. A fifth problem. Well, let's look at the environment that we operate in first. So we have an island, kind of an island, where we have Microsoft Teams. So that's a communication island by itself. And then we have another island with about 6 million SIP endpoints. And uh, why are we putting them on different islands? Well, having them on different islands isn't perhaps the, uh, totally correct because there is actually solutions today that allows you to communicate from a SIP endpoint into a Teams conference. But by talking to customers and being out there, we also understand that and experience that it's not always works. Uh, they say that not all of the meetings are working and there is uh, uh, sometimes hard to understand for the customer why. 
Yeah. And it's typically more problems when they talk to other companies. So communication between companies on video, which has become much more relevant over the last 18 months. Yeah. That's typically where you see more of these problems I've heard. So based upon that, we are announcing a new product. It is called Synergy Sky Connect, and it's a SIP to Teams interoperability. So I think we should jump straight into a demo. Let's run the demo. Okay, so Julie has received a Teams invitation with no CVI information. She is now forwarding the invitation to a meeting room of her choice. She's sending it to the room Balder, which is right over here. So let's move over to that room where we have installed a good old Tamburg C60 um, that is not able to call anything else and sip. So let's join that call by the click of a button and we'll see the teams. Okay, so there we have the Teams meeting. So we have native Teams layout uh, with Eagle with a terrible backlight. <laughs> Good, I'll just move that pip, turn that off. And now we have an incoming presentation using PowerPoint Live. So we can see someone skipping through the slides there. And you have all the small pips down here, just like on any other Teams meeting using a Tamburg C60. I really hope you like that demo. As you can see, Synergy Sky Connect will connect any SIP endpoint to all Microsoft Teams meetings, even that old Tanberg endpoint you just saw. So what you see here is the SIP endpoint, you have Synergy Sky Connect, and then you have the Microsoft Teams experience in a web browser, and you're actually getting the same experience inside your SIP endpoint. So, I guess the first point there, no need for organizer to have CVI. Why, why, why is that important? So uh, today, CVI is that other solution uh, we discussed uh, previously, which is about how to connect uh, today to a Teams meeting. But the CVI today is limited. So it's the organizer that needs to have the CVI in place to be able to invite other participants to video meeting. So it doesn't help if I have CVI and I get an invitation from you then? It doesn't help. Right. I need to have the CVI if I'm inviting to the meeting. Right. So that's one thing that we're solving. And PowerPoint Live, I, I'm hearing Microsoft talking about PowerPoint Live all the time now. I'm actually seeing that that's the default sharing option in Microsoft Teams. Absolutely. And that's supported? Absolutely. Out of the box. Good, good. And like I mentioned, you're getting the native web browser experience in the SIP endpoint. So you're actually able to experience the Teams meeting just like Microsoft wants you to experience it. And you will be able to join all Teams meetings, not the ones, uh, not only the ones with CVI. And you will get one button to push into all meetings. So what you can see here is that you have the SIP endpoint, which can connect to any meeting platform that has SIP connectivity. It can also connect into Teams meetings. It works every time. It's independent and it supports your workflow. So it enables you to, to, to give the, it gives you the freedom to choose the platform you want. And you will also be able to keep your SIP endpoints alive. There's a shortage of chips out there. So it's not easy to rip and replace your endpoints in order to 
to uh, uh, replace them with newer types of MTRs, for instance. And also, video is supposed to be green, so you may want to reuse your existing endpoints instead of throwing them out. Absolutely. So how does this work, Egil? Yeah, so uh, this is a very, very brief uh, overview, but uh, we, are, uh, we have created this solution into Azure. And one of the reasons we decided on Azure is because that's closest to Teams, and this is a Teams uh, solution. Um, so Synergy Sky Connect is uh, provided as a cloud service. Uh, the Synergy Sky Suite, which is something that you uh, do self-hosting on, uh, will be uh, located at the customer site and connected to Synergy Sky Connect uh, in the cloud. And we still keep the Synergy Sky Suite in, uh, in uh, the on-premise side because of privacy reasons. And we still believe that that's the right place for a solution like Synergy Sky Suite to uh, remain. But uh, the gateway functionality is then provided to you over the cloud. Very good. So now we have the Connect as part of the Synergy Sky Suite. So both join control, analyze sensors and Connect all in one. So this is a milestone for us. Um, it means that we can provide the last piece of the puzzle. So we can provide you the full functionality needed to, to include your meeting room systems in all types of meetings, ensure that you can monitor the meetings and analyze the data afterwards and optimize your meeting rooms. It gives you the connectivity into Microsoft Teams meetings from your SIP endpoints. And we are aiming to have this ready for you in December this year. So we have now bridged SIP and Microsoft Teams. As you could see in the demo, we are able to demo now and uh, you can order now. So contact our sales team, follow this uh, URL and they will set up a meeting with you to, to discuss your needs. But there is one more thing in order to create the total Teams experience. We have created a feature for Cisco Touch 10 and Cisco Room Navigator touch panels. And there are quite a few of them out there. It's actually the, the touch panel that's been shipping from Cisco the last seven, eight years. What we've made is the ability to book your Teams meetings straight from the touch panel. So you just walk into the room touch the book meeting button, and then you have a Teams meeting. You can also add participants to that meeting by searching Active Directory and taking off those you want to have in the meeting. And then you get a green button in order to join the meeting via Synergy Connect, just like you used to. So that puts two new features into our feature overview. So down in, the, down in the low left, you have the interoperability and at the top center, you have in-room booking. So this is the Synergy Sky Suite. Thank you for attending this product announcement. More information will be available on our webpage after uh, after this announcement and emails will also be sent out to everyone that registered containing product sheets, etc. Thank you.